Today's story is Winnie at the Seaside. It was a very hot summer. Winnie the Witch felt hot and tired. Wilbur, her cat, felt hot and tired too. I want to swim, Wilbur, Winnie said. Let's go to the seaside. Winnie found her beach towel, her beach bag and her beach umbrella. She jumped onto her broomstick. Wilbur jumped onto her shoulder and they were off. They flew over hot towns, hot roads, hot cars and then they came to the sea. There were lots of people on the beach but Winnie found a place for her towel. She put up her beach umbrella and got ready for her swim. Look after my bag and broomstick, Wilbur, Winnie said. She ran into the water. It was lovely in the sea. Winnie splashed through the water and skipped over little waves. She was having a lovely time. Wilbur sat and watched her. He couldn't swim. He didn't like water. He hated getting wet. Winnie dived into the water. It was such fun. But the water started to creep up the sand, up to Winnie's towel. Wilbur jumped onto Winnie's beach umbrella. Meow, he cried. Then the sea picked Winnie up, turned her over three times and dumped her onto the sand. The water washed over Winnie's towel and came halfway up Winnie's beach bag. Meow, cried Wilbur. He didn't want to get wet. Oh dear, said Winnie. She shook some seaweed out of her hair. Don't worry, Wilbur. We'll just move further up the beach. She picked up her beach bag and her towel. My broomstick, cried Winnie. Where's my broomstick? She looked everywhere. No broomstick. Then she looked out to sea. There was her broomstick floating away. Stop! Winnie shouted, but her broomstick didn't stop. How will we get home, Wilbur? cried Winnie. Then she had an idea. She grabbed her beach bag, took out her magic wand, waved it five times and shouted, Abracadabra! The broomstick stopped. Then it started to come back. But a surfer was in the way. Whoosh! went the broomstick high up in the air and it landed on a whale. The whale didn't want a broomstick on its back. Whoosh! went the broomstick high up into the air in a great spout of water. Winnie's broomstick had come back. Winnie was pleased. The other people on the beach were not pleased at all. They were very wet. Wilbur was not pleased either. He was very wet, very sandy and rather squashed. Oh dear, Winnie said. We'd better go home, Wilbur. She packed everything up. Then Winnie and Wilbur zoomed up into the sky. They were soon home again. It was still hot in Winnie's garden. Winnie still felt hot and tired. Then she had a wonderful idea. She took her magic wand out of her beach bag, shut her eyes, turned around three times and shouted, Abracadabra! There in her garden was a beautiful swimming pool. Winnie dived in. She swam up and down and then she floated on her back. This is lovely, Wilbur, she said. It's much nicer than the seaside. Anything is nicer than the seaside, thought Wilbur. And that was the story of Winnie the Witch at the seaside. I hope you enjoyed it.